Nowadays at Jabru, I do a little bit of flight testing. Mainly I do demo flights for customers, potential customers that want to possibly buy an airplane. And I fly cross country to all the air shows we go to. We hit all the, ma the major air shows and a lot of the light sports shows around the country. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'll be flying down to Florida um, for the Sebring Aviation Expo. And this is just some of the things that I get to do and experience in my job. So every once in a while, I got to smack myself and say, you're doing this awesome job for a living. Stop complaining. <laughs> In 2009, I had an opportunity to fly a Jabiru up to my hometown in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin and give a demo ride to a potential customer there. And uh, he ended up buying an airplane, so now there's a Jabiru based in my hometown, and, uh, which is cool. I snapped this particular photo because this ramp is the very ramp that I took my very first airplane ride on. That Cessna right there is the airplane that I get, did most of my instrument training in when it was based at Oshkosh, and the Jabru was there in the foreground. So everything just came together right at that particular instant, so I snapped that picture. So now, my uh, significant other, who also works at Jabru, got me into building full-scale airplanes. When you look at a full-scale airplane kit, like a Vans type of kit. Some of the pictures, some of the parts are displayed here. It looks an awful lot like a big model. And uh, it took me back to those days of staring at the Comet J3 Cub uh, kit plans and wondering how am I going to do this. I have a two-inch thick binder of instructions and plans that I look through every night as we're watching TV, wondering how am I going to do this. Um, so right now you can see the, the bottom left hand corner there I've got the horizontal stabilizer almost ready to be skinned and uh, that's going to be a big accomplishment in itself. So hopefully someday I hope to have an airplane that looks something like that up there and uh, be able to fly it. So what's next? Right now I've, I've done a lot of stuff but I really want to get start paying it forward a little bit. I haven't done enough, I feel, to help kids get into air aviation. Um, our EAA chapter in Shelbyville is planning a Young Eagles rally for Learn to Fly Day in May. And so I'm planning on flying a Jabru in that and giving a bunch of more Young Eagle rides and possibly doing a model aviation demonstration there as well. Um, so now plans are to to gather up the modelers in our club, because a lot of the modelers at Jabru, well, a lot of the people at Jabru are also modelers, and um, start thinking about what we can do to help out the situation. I'm so happy that EAA and AMA have joined forces finally. I'd have jumped at an opportunity like that when I was a kid, and uh, so I'm just looking ahead to the future. And uh, I guess that's it. I want to thank AMA for inviting me up here. It's just an honor to, to talk among these pilots who have done so much. <laughs> um, so I guess that's it.